All right, folks, it's time for us to dive back into the Blue in the Face playthrough for Halo 3. If you haven't seen the first part, there's a card on screen now that you can click on to go watch, but if you have, sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay and discussion. There's a lot of bad guys to shoot and a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the commander her ace is in the hole. Check it out. No way. A Spartan? For real. You better not be. Oh no, man, he's here. We're gonna be Where did you night. find him? Napping. Out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed. Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter. Smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent bombardment were... Extreme. Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here, East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then they started digging. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Now the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark, where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. If he succeeds, humanity, the Covenant, Every sentient being in the galaxy. The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Good news, Commander Keys. Good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's your status, son? Green, sir. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan. But without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site. And his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But... If we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk. But I'm confident... Hell, not again. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let you him know... all of you vermin. Cowering in the dirt, thinking, what, I wonder, that you might escape the coming fire? No, your world will burn until its surface is but glass, and not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage, the culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods. And I, I am their instrument. Cocky bastard just loves to run his mouth. Does he usually mention me? Give the order, we're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel, the wounded. Code alpha we're getting all of them out. Immediate evacuation. I have to carry him myself. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? All right, first of all, to war is not a rally point, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> There's a little bit of dialogue going on right here, but it's not ultimately important, so we're just going to move along and, and go ahead with the mission. we got to pick up some guns, and I think what I'll do is... What else do we have? we got battle... Oh, there's an SMG. I haven't really used any of these, so why don't we dual-wield SMGs and have some fun with that? But in that cutscene, we saw so much personality from all of the characters. The Master Chief has a lot of subtlety in his performance that does make him seem human, despite being so so godlike and, and, and impressive. And then some of the other characters, like the Prophet that we saw, he's completely bombastic and absurd, and the speeches that he gives are over the top and wild. And, and then we have Johnson and, and all the other characters. But they, there's so many personalities that may feel like they could clash, but they're written well enough that they don't feel like they, they butt heads against each other. I need that hangar cleared for evac ASAP. We gotta clear the hangar for evac. Let's open that bad boy up. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't save them. Let's, let's get to it. Oof. Dual wielding submachine guns is 
incredibly satisfying. I've, I've obviously got to be careful because we are playing on the heroic difficulty, so I will get chewed up if I push too hard. But I can really... Oh, I just feel so powerful when I'm when I'm dual wielding these things. Now, there is a brute up across the way, so he's going to hit me pretty hard with that brute shot. And there's a lot of grunts as well. But we're shredding them pretty good right now. What? A flare? I'm blind. I can't see. Well, that wasn't ideal. I feel like that thing can explode. I'm not going to stand next to it. <laughs> Oh, we're actually already out of ammo with our submachine gun. So that was a quick burst of intensity. And now we can go to the more long-range reserve playstyle with the battle rifle. <laughs> but one thing that, that I think is cool to notice about Halo and a lot of older games is that weapons are balanced around the fact that they can't aim down sights. So the battle rifle, for example, it has a scope on it. So you can zoom in and increase your effective password. range. What? Need the password. You gotta be kidding me. What password? Password. They gave it out at the staff meeting 15 minutes ago. Meeting? What meeting? I was out here. Not supposed to let anyone in without it. If the staff meeting just ended, no one outside is gonna know the freaking password. Now open up. We need ammo and the chief is out here. Does he know the password? He wasn't at the meeting either! <laughs> is he actually going to open the door, or is that not the way I'm supposed to be going right now? I have no idea. I think I just stumbled upon a secret. <laughs> well, uh, in any case, weapons are balanced around the fact that some can aim down sights and others can't. So the, the battle rifle is a long-range option. And it's solidified as a long-range option because it can aim down sights. And then weapons like the plasma pistol and the SMG and the assault rifle, those weapons can't zoom in, so their effective range is significantly reduced. All right, those guys are, are really causing problems for me. Let's just try and... There we go. We got, we got them down. And that's something that it adds to the the different feel of the weapons because when you have all the weapons being able to aim down sights in for example a game like destiny then there's quite a bit more crossover in how weapons feel so a submachine gun will feel very similar to an assault rifle unless they are significantly different in their design but in in the case of destiny the the design of the assault rifles and the submachine guns is very similar so a lot of the guns can feel kind of samey in that regard. But if you can't aim down sights with an SMG and it's solidified as you got to be close if you want to hit your targets, then that changes everything. All right, we're just mowing down some grunts here. I think I saw a fan. Yeah, I saw a phantom out the corner of my eyes. So that's going to be interesting, but I've got a big gun. So I should be able to do something about it. Yeah, there we go. We can destroy his main turret to limit his effectiveness. Ah, right, there's a brute coming down. Let's just lay into him. I'm a one-man firing squad right now, but I'm about to run out of ammo. So let's just drop it and switch over to the BR and do what we can with this. So it's, it's interesting that m modern games like Halo Halo 5 as an example and and Destiny they they give every weapon the ability to aim down sights and even even something like uh Valorant has gone down the path of of allowing every weapon to aim down sights but in games like CS:GO I don't think every gun has has a scope on it or or an aim down sights functionality hey get off the turret it's mine give me it so that is a, a design decision that, that's that's really fascinating. And I wonder if Halo Infinite is going to adopt some of the philosophies that the classic Halo games had in, in terms of the way the game is balanced and the way it functions. But it, it does, from what I've seen so far, it does seem like they want to go down a, a different route and, and sort of modernize the Halo experience, which I suppose is fine. 
but to an extent i don't i don't necessarily think that halo needs to be modernized i think it just needs to evolve but not necessarily change oh crap 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 back away back away. Uh oh uh, uh, okay no no there are so many You can't hide from me in this stupid bubble shield. Not today, friend. There we go. We're, we're going in, and we're going in hard. There's still a couple more guys around here. I just don't know exactly where. Who threw a frag grenade? All right. Looks like we cleared out the hangar, and now there's a pelican coming in hot. Man, there's a lot of action going on out there. Chief. Op center, double time. The brutes are pressing hard. All right, Johnson wants me to head to the op center, so we have successfully helped these guys evacuate. They're probably gonna get blown up as soon as they leave. Maybe. All right, they actually made it out the door. All right, well, that's uh, fortunate for them. Now let's head back to the op center and see what we can do. Because uh, the, the discussion of whether something that is old should be modernized to the extent that it's somewhat unrecognizable from what it used to be is, is interesting. As, as a fan of Star Trek, I've experienced this a lot and very acutely. But hey. let's let's dive into the yeah. ambience for a minute. Like These guys are saying they don't like what they're hearing right now, and I don't necessarily like it either. Now, I th I'm either supposed to go back this way, or this way. Okay, the game has helped me, so I don't have to double back all the way. Things just got a little creepy, though. The music is shifting. We're no longer getting that militaristic UNSC soundtrack, and it's just ambient tones. Barracks are under attack. All available combat teams respond. Anyone in the barracks, I need a sit rep now. The stage has been Sir, set. This way. All right, let's see what's okay. Coming out of the vents. We got the fly boys. Oh, that's not the exit. This is the exit. Oh, they ate him. Wrong button. That's the one I wanted to put. <laughs> I can't actually walk through this. I thought this was a a, a shield that I could kind of walk through, but oh, this. This is, this is scary. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna really contend with this. Oh, they can shoot through the through the fence. Oh, that's. Maybe I can. St I don't know. <laughs> My shields are not gonna come back while these things are out here. Maybe I can manipulate cover a little bit and just pew pew them down with the battle rifle as best I can. Every time I do get hit, it is going to de-scope my weapon, which makes things a bit harder. But the, the hip fire is still very accurate, but I, I want to get in close and make sure all my shots hit, because I don't have that much ammo. I got one more full clip, but we have thinned out the pack pretty well. Man, look at all this useless weaponry. There's so many plasma pistols on the floor. And all of it is completely useless. Have a, look. a little going away gift for the Covenant. We've linked it to smaller charges throughout the base. Johnson, as soon as the evacuation is complete, start the timer. Understood. Good luck, everyone. See you on the last Pelican out. All right, looks like we got a bomb. <laughs> and we got to detonate it. Unfortunately, Sergeant Johnson does not move at the same speed as the Master Chief, so following him is going to be a little bit annoying. Hurry up. Roots have taken the barracks. Marines are trapped inside. Those apes ain't much for mercy, Chief. We both know what they do to prisoners. Get to the barracks. Save those men. Then escort them to the landing pad for evac. Let's see what we get. Wow. Ah, there's a big hammer boy at the top. Spread out. Track it down. All 
All right, well, let's open up. We're going loud. I'll fight from range as much as I can with the battle rifle to thin them out. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was a shield. Oh. <laughs> I think that's a, a, a jump booster thing that will let me get to higher places in the map. Oh, boy. This is going to be somewhat difficult. All right, let's throw these grenades out again. And see what we can do. The, the brute shots are going to be problematic. All right, you know what? Let's make use of the thing. Get the high ground. Obi-Wan Kenobi would be very proud of me. There we go. Now, the, the, now he, here's, here's a good example of the game evolving but not changing to be unrecognizable from what it used to be. These utility items, like these jump, jump pad things, were not in Halo 2. They were not in Halo 1. But they are a very welcome addition to the game because they allow you to change the way you interact with the environment. You can, you can maneuver around and, and just think more creatively about how you engage with combat and do some really cool stuff with these assets. Whoops, wrong button. And that is a, a natural evolution of the game. The game is changing for the better, but it's still fundamentally feels like Halo at the end of the day. And that, that's something that a lot of Halo fans will say that, you know, this is not a true Halo game. Oh, this feels like Halo. It's a true Scotsman. Stuff like that is, is are very common sentiments in Halo, in the Halo fan base. Okay, let's, okay. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know how to deal with that. <laughs> but, but the sentiment of a, a, a Halo game feeling like a Halo game is something that comes up a lot in the Halo fan base when they're talking about in different entries in the series, specifically Halo 4 and, and, and Halo 5. Uh, there were a lot of decisions made within those games that started to make the game feel like it was deviating from what it was originally meant to be or from what it was, was originally designed for. All right, we got a lot of shotgun ammo, so I'm going to try and work with, with this as best as I can. I want to I want to clear out the the normal brutes before the hammer bro comes in cuz he's going to cause me some epic problems. And I'm not going in there bro. Oh, where to go? Oh, he's down at the bottom now. But th these jump pads and and the the bubble shields and all the other abilities that were added or utility items that were added, they come in addition to the base Halo gameplay. So they don't make the game feel unrecognizable from what it used to be because the the perfect example of that is all of these assets that i have could exist in halo 1 and the game would still feel fundamentally the same but if you add ads no 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 wait 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 yes this is exactly what i wanted to do last time <laughs> all right let's the battle rifle is not really gonna help me right now i, I need to just do Massive amounts of damage from up close. Oh, the brute shot. That's what I need. I'll finish this point in a minute. I just gotta. I gotta hide for a second. <laughs> All right. I don't. I don't know where the hammer bro went, but he's a problem. There he is. Ah, crap. 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 My point is, it's possible to evolve and improve a game without fundamentally changing its systems. And fundamentally changing a game's systems as you move forward in the franchise is dangerous. Aha! Yeah, that's not going to work. Loop around here to get rid of that guy. Hammer Bro is right behind me. And he's so fast. He's so fast! <laughs> oh, thank goodness I fell. <laughs> Going up. Whew. Okay. Oh, he's already here. <laughs> I saw his shields go down. That's helpful. No! <laughs> oh, boy. Where's the hammer, bro? 
right, he's still he's still back there. He's waiting. He's actually waiting until I kill all the grunts so we can have a nice 1v1. Alright, they're all dead, bro. Where you, what's, what's going on? Has he trapped himself? I think he trapped himself. Uh, no, he's, he's, he's not trapped, but he's... Uh, yeah, there he comes. Okay, I, I kind of wish he was trapped. I wish he was trapped. I'm out of ammo. Nope. Not like this. He's the only one left. Please. 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 No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this so much. Please stop. Get back. 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 No. Come on. <laughs> uh. Fucking killed him, bro. Oh my god. That was a nightmare. Picked up invincibility. Of course I get invincibility after I destroy him. I need to get a checkpoint right now, dude. Oh my god, that was such a, a crazy fight. So I, you, you can clearly manipulate him when when you play with elevation and ranges because he is a melee exclusive enemy. But man, that was a, that was an, an interesting encounter because they layered it with with different ranges and types of brutes. You had the brutes with the mid range weapons, the spikers. You have been called upon to serve. And then you had the the main brute with the with the brute shot, and I took him out early, and that made things a lot easier. But then there were also the backline brutes with the carbines and the the plasma rifles. So there there was a lot of a lot of cool stuff going on with that setup. Hey, it's the arbiter. All right, look at that. We're making it through though. This mission should almost be over. Oh, the shotgun is so good. I wish I could keep it forever. What is that? I don't remember what that is. I think it's a radar jammer. Um, but in, in the campaign, it's not, not super detrimental to my health for there to be a radar jammer on the field. But in the multiplayer, it's really strong. But that kind of goes back to the original point of, hey, what, what is it that makes the game the game the game? And then what stuff can we add on top of that? Like, this invincibility is adding so much to me right now, and it makes me feel so damn cool. But it's gone. It wore off, so I should probably hide now that it's gone. <laughs> like, those, those little bits and pieces, they add so much to the, the experience, but they don't detract from the core of what makes Halo Halo. So let's just, let's just keep it going. Let's, let's finish this off the right way. did it we got all the way back to the bomb <laughs> this is a long freaking mission we got your exit a service elevator in the hangar and downstairs cut through the caves oh boy let's get to the elevator come on get out of the way boys we're going home elevator has been made it to the button has been pressed bye bye felicia hey 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 <laughs> this place will become your home